Um, hi, everybody. So uh, I want to talk about how U-Switch sort of uh, became or entered the clean web space. Um, and that's through uh, solar panels. Um, so I guess a, a lot of you probably have heard the expression cross the chasm. And that refers to this graph here, uh, where technology moves from early adopters and innovators into, into the mainstream. Um, and that's a process that's been happening in the last couple of years in, in the UK. Um, and I think we're probably at the early adopter stage, so it's, it's moved beyond sort of environmentalists now. Um, uh, Usage.com is the UK's largest uh, energy switching site. So what we're interested in is you know, saving consumers money on their electricity bills. Um, but there's only so far you can, you can take that, because once you switch from one company to another, you, know, you, you can't make those, that money plus savings. And the, the sort of massive increase in energy bills over the last few years, you know, people are looking for, for new ways, and things like insulation uh, can help. But uh, generating your own electricity is obviously a big one. And that really became possible in the UK about two years ago when the government introduced the feed-in tariff, which was a, a subsidy for generating electricity and uh, also for the electricity that you've left over and uh, exported to the grid. So around that time, the, the solar industry in the UK sort of really took off. Uh, we started like really slowly. We just started uh, you know, doing some sort of affiliate things and advertising on our site to um, some solar companies. One of the first ones, uh, Shea Greener. Um, we noticed that we were making quite a bit, bit of money on it, and it was uh, doing really well. So we decided to build um, a product on our site where people could sort of find companies in their area um, and uh, sort of compare them, uh, which is quite important because at, at the beginning there was like a lot of sort of cowboy companies around, which was quite a new market, and consumers didn't know who to trust. So we sort of had a more recruitable and accredited uh, companies on there. Uh, so you could, you could find uh, companies in your, in your local area and then sort of point out your house. And uh, this was sent over to the solar installation company and uh, they could do some sort of pre-checks on you. Just, you know, just obvious stuff to like, make sure your house has got a self facing ish roof and um, you're suitable for solar. Uh, things sort of fell apart uh, around <laughs> October of 2011, because the government had the subsidy. And we were sitting around thinking, you know, well, what was that a waste of time, or, you know, is there any future in this? But when we looked a bit closer, actually, there probably is. Um, now, although the, the number of uh, installations kind of dropped and then kind of went up again and, and then dropped again, the reasons behind why the government um, changed the tariffs are quite interesting. In fact, they were absolutely, totally taken aback by the, the drop in. Uh, Price of solar panels. So there's sort of like a Moore's law thing going on where the, the price of panels is you know halving every three to four years and the price of inverters as well. So it seems like inevitable that um, solar panels are going to become more and more attractive as the as the energy bills are going the other way because of you know things like peak oil. Um, and if you look around at the, the broader environment of where the hell you put your money, uh, Putting it on the stock market is not very good when you know things like this have happened and it's not really going up anymore. So people have like an excess of capital they don't have anywhere to put. Uh, so if, you, if you're a pensioner and you've got you know uh, another 30 years, where are you going to put your money? So we're we're building a new side at the moment that we hope will sort of explain and the benefits of solar panels to a more mainstream audience because we we think it's now moving beyond. Um, I guess people like us in this room into you know uh, hardworking families if you want to use that sort of marketing expression. Um, so uh, if you wander around sort of outer London now, you'll see like uh, plenty of uh, sort of houses on, on, on roofs, um, but there's a, an awful lot more roofs that uh, could have them. Probably you know half of the roofs in the UK are suitable for solar panels. Um, and as the price goes down, we're probably going to see that gradually uh, roll out, um, which is really exciting. Um, and, and doing this, I got really enthusiastic about solar panels, but I didn't own the roof of my property, because I live in London. And if you look in central London, actually, there's very, very few solar panels, generally. So I wanted to do something about it, because I don't want to get my electricity from uh, coal power plants, and I think we start shutting these down. Um, and, and solar is a great technology in that sense, because it's really easy to deploy. Um, so I'm involved in a uh, community uh, energy cooperative in, in Brixton, South London. So this is a little plug if you want to uh, 
uh, become a shareholder in an energy cooperative. Just talk to me after this, I've done the pub, and I'll sell you some shares. <laughs> <laughs>